Active Campaign vs MailChimp. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am comparing MailChimp with Active Campaign to figure out that which one of these platform is better for you to use for your email marketing campaigns. I will be telling you about their all of their features and what are different services they offer to help you make an informed decision uh, to choose the right platform. Now, the link for both of these platform will be given down in the description so you can go ahead and create your own free account on MailChimp or maybe active campaign so uh, let's get started at uh, first we have mailchimp.com what you have to do is simply sign up for mailchimp now design the process for mailchimp is very easy all you have to do is just sign up with your email address and set up a reasonable password uh, now mailchimp helps you to create your own email marketing campaigns you can do automation you can create your own landing page and website with mailchimp as well and then we get a lot of cool integrations um so let's Let's get into the features of MailChimp. This is the dashboard you will get when you will sign up for MailChimp. So here you will see the option of create. When we click on create, uh, MailChimp actually allows you to create your own email. You can create your own customer journeys, websites, landing page and multi-channel designs. Now you will see the options right here down you can actually create your own sign up form and surveys i personally use mailchimp to create surveys as well because it's very easy to use and it has a lot of features uh, when it comes to creating and customizing your own newsletters and your own uh, landing page and your own websites uh, and then we have postcard of course in the website you will see the landing page and everything so this is like the general idea you get when you click on create of um, mailchimp but you will also see the option right here for example audience in audience if i click right here in the drop down menu again you will be able to see all the different you know features that are offered by mailchimp audience dashboard tags and segments this is pretty good you can create different tags to get more organized about your contacts when it comes to contacts and uh, we have a lot of contacts and uh, we have different uh, you know companies we are managing so you can just go ahead and create different tags for each of these uh, contact lists that you have you have different subscribers you can just come here right here on tags and you can create a tag for example simply click on create a tag once you do that you will give your tag a name maybe tag one do that and simply click on create and a new tag will be created right here uh so if i just scroll down right here now my new tag is created uh if i go to audience dashboard now each of these options have its own dashboard this is pretty good like we get different dashboards for each of our uh you know feature for example this is the audience where i will select audience for my campaign now you get the option of mailchimp audience and then you have start a webinar you can create your own webinar with mailchimp then to add a contact uh, let me just show you real quick you simply click on add your contact uh, once you will do that uh, you will simply upload a file for example you can import from other service now this is pretty good this is an integration we get in mailchimp because you can just go ahead and add your email list a subscriber list that you already have on any other website or any other platform so you don't have to create a new list every time you can just simply import it from another service and then we have upload a file of course you can just go ahead and upload a file that you have created off your contact list and then you can copy and paste um, as well simply so this is how we add different contact if i scroll down then we have the campaign of course so this is where we are actually you know kind of focusing because i wanted to show you all the campaigns you can create with mailchimp uh, now mailchimp actually allows you to create your amazing email marketing campaigns you can create your own landing page ads and postcards so every option is available in other option as well for example like view by type you will see the all the option like automation landing page right here and then you have access to them all the time right here uh, this side of the screen uh, so to create an email marketing campaign let me just show you real quick simply click on create campaign once you do that you have to select any of these like these are the different options we get regular email landing page or your embedded form so if you want to create a regular email simply click on design email once you do that mailchimp will take you uh to its you know different settings that we have to do before we create an email marketing campaign this is a good thing about mailchimp because 
what happens is we know like the male chimp actually knows uh, that you are going to be sending a lot of emails. So you don't have to go every time and go ahead and create a header and footer. You can just add a header, footer and subject and content and you can actually save it. Uh, and then you can add your social media just one time and then it will be used in all of your email. That is why I think MailChimp is a pretty good platform to create your own email, your customized automated email campaigns. Uh, the link for to go and create your own free account for MailChimp will be given down in the description. You can just go ahead and check it out right now. Um, so what I have to do now is uh, just go ahead and add all the information. For example, I will just connect my Facebook if I want to connect my Twitter, if I want to add a customized campaign link uh, from other brand. For example, if I have a brand and I have a custom URL, I will simply add it right here in the added option and I will add my link right here. Click on added name and you will give your campaign a name. Let's call it test. Okay, click on save. So let me show you how an email looks uh, while creating on MailChimp. So actually we get two options, classic builder and new builder. Now in new builder, you will actually get more options. It's like the beta option that you're getting, but the classic builder has everything. Simply click on select and it will take you to your template. Now we get a lot of templates to choose from. Um, as a beginner, if you do not have an idea how to create an email marketing campaign, right? And you're very new to this, then you can just simply you know go ahead and select a template this becomes very easy for you then all you have to do is you know just customize different uh, things into your um, um, uh, templates for example this is a sell product template so if I want to sell a product I, I can just simply go for this template or if you want to go ahead and start from the scratch you can just go ahead and do that if you have any already saved templates you will see them right here campaigns your previous campaigns will be shown here and then code your own you can create your own campaign for for now, let's go with a template. Let's just say that I go with this one. This is a sell a product uh, template that we have. It's like the very simple one. So I want to actually show you that how to add different elements. You will be using MailChimp. Um, so how to add different elements. What happens is it's a simple, uh, you know, drag and drop. So if I want to add the text, I will drag the text. And let's just say I want to add the text right below the logo. So I will add the block right here and it will be added. So this is the text block that I added. Now uh, I can just simply go ahead and add it the text, for example, this one says this is a text blog for now i am going to add this is a test video perfect uh save and close okay now if i want to add a divider divider i think looks pretty good so i will add a divider in between my header and my text so i will simply you know drop the block right here styles right here i can add a new page simply go to pages and i can you know customize the page that i have added so i have added the content for my email marketing campaign then we have the option of website where i can create my own landing page my store and appointments domains and settings are also given then of course the integrations we get a lot of integrations in mailchimp you can actually go to add new and you can add as many integrations as possible to your mailchimp to kind of like create your own hub for your campaigns and to create this amazing workspace for your campaigns and to do email marketing so yeah guys mailchimp is actually pretty good platform to create your email marketing campaigns the link will be given down in the description you could just go ahead and click on the link and get your free account right now so let's check out active campaign now now active campaign is also one of the very famous platforms out there and when it comes to creating your email marketing campaigns when it comes to automation when it comes to creating your own website we get a lot of features on active campaign i personally have created my my email campaigns on active campaign and it actually works pretty good so we get all the options right here uh, the options are actually pretty similar to MailChimp actually we are getting contact we are getting campaigns we are getting automations we are getting deals now we did not get the option of deal in MailChimp but we have it uh, here in active campaign then we have conversations and list and of course site where I can actually create my own landing page and much more um, again if you want to check out active campaign the link for active campaign will be given in the description down below you can just go ahead and uh, get your free account get started for free sign up and you will 
will actually get your own dashboard. So this is what you get when you sign up for Active Campaign. Signing a process for Active Campaign is also very easy. All you have to do is just you know sign up with your email address and then set up a reasonable password. Once you have the password, this is where you will get. So I am on automation right now. In automation, I get the option of manage messages where I can actually come and manage my different messages if I have any. Then you actually have your automation map where you can actually filter your different automations that you are doing. So if we go to campaigns, let me show you how uh, because we are talking about the you know campaign uh, service both of these platforms and we're like comparing them according to their campaigns how they help us uh, create these campaign and what are the differences so in the campaigns this is pretty good this is actually a very unique feature we get in active campaign which is content manager here you can come and manage your content like any content that you have already created you will be able to manage it right here you can actually create your own you know you add different um, images you will add different photos different logos if you have any so you will add them right here uh, in content manager and you will be able to you know access them whenever you want to and then manage templates again if you have already created a template if you want to create a template now creating a template simply means that when we are going to be creating our own campaign we are kind of creating a template for other campaigns as well like if i have created a campaign and i want to use the same criteria like the same um you know template for my other campaigns then I can just go ahead and create a template and then I will be able to, you know, check them out right here in the manage template section because or I can actually import a template from other platform as well. For example, Google sites, uh, we can just, you know, import a template right here. After that, manage variables where we can actually manage different variables for our, uh, you know, email marketing campaign. Again, uh, this feature was also available in MailChimp too. But here we are actually getting, uh, I really like the the, you know, uh, that we are actually getting a very full uh, access to managing our uh, variable. For example, we can go with a personalization name and then personalization tag and then used in list. After that, we actually get our own HTML. If I'm being honest, this is like pretty amazing. Then we also have the code editor. I can actually edit my code for my different personalized uh, email marketing campaigns. That is why, uh, you know, I kind of like creating my email marketing campaigns with Active Campaign because it allows you to create your own very customized um email marketing campaigns and it is also very automated in a way and i can just you know edit all of these different variables and once i have edited them then i can just you know save them or i will be able to you know then use it whenever i want to so if you want to go for a customized personalization name personalization tags uh, you will add them right here uh, for now let's go to campaigns and let me show you how we actually create a campaign in active campaign because i showed you how it looks in the mailchimp it was a drag and drop let's see that how uh, we create campaigns in active campaign these are the four steps you are going to do type list design summary and send campaign name let's give it a name for test perfect we have a test then we have standard automated and i am going with a standard one simply select that and next perfect then we have the option of list you will select all the lists from here all the different lists that you have added to your active campaign of course your subscriber list your contact list will be added right here so for now i only have this uh, list right here so i will select it and i will simply click on next so this is how you can create an email marketing campaign in active campaign it is also a drag and drop so if i want to add a text blog i will simply drag it and insert it right here where i want to add it and then i will you know customize it the way i want to i can insert all of these different uh, options we get button images videos lines and uh, spacers rss feed all of these different options then we have the saved option where i will be able to access my content library and then we have options where i can actually go ahead and customize different you know blocks when they are selected you can just go ahead and customize now all i have to do is just save and exit but if if I wanted to send it I will of course send it right now or I can schedule it for later after that we have the option of automations of course deals where you can actually do a lot much more uh, into your sales and then we have conversations sites where you will be able to create your own landing page with active campaign uh, the link for active campaign will be given down in the description go ahead and create your own free account right now now so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you i wanted to give you an overview and insight to the dashboards of 
MailChimp and Active Campaign. The link for both of these platforms will be given down in the description. You can just go ahead and check them out right now. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.